what's up guys been forever again sorry about that i truly am you know between work and working on cosplay my 3d printer discord and everything else you know i've been trying to get more youtube videos up it is tough like i said unless you just quit if you have a day job unless you just quit it you know depending on what you do for work you know it, it is tough to do videos every single day you know and make progress on games you want to make progress on but anyway not done on that too much. I want to talk about Shantae Advance Risky's Revolution for consoles and PC. Surprisingly, you know, this, for who doesn't know, was a canceled Game Boy Advance game back in the day, you know, almost 20 years ago. So if you were born, you know, if you weren't born 20 years ago, even, even, even if you were born 20 years ago, you may not know about this game if you're still pretty young. This was, you know, originally announced, but just kind of canceled. A lot of Game Boy Advance games did that toward the end of its, of its life, you know. They kind of got announced toward the end. And unlike some games nowadays, when they get announced like that, they'll still get made sometimes, you know. But this was like, you know, announced, canceled, and they moved on to, some, to the next Shantae game, you know. Um, but anyway, they released a new trailer yesterday. I finally got to watch it. Great trailer. Uh, in Nintendo's indie world, but it's Shantae, you know, the PR release was, I'm just gonna go ahead and read it off to you guys, basically. Um, let's see, let's start with this. In this hair whipping, belly dancing adventure, Shantae's nemesis, the nefarious pirate, Risky Boots, has a groundbreaking new scheme that will leave sequin land spinning. By rotating the continent, she can move any town to the coast for easy plundering and Shantae players must turn the tectonic tables on risky by rearranging the land itself shifting swapping and moving between the foreground and background to navigate mix and match multi-layered levels so this is this sounds like honestly just just from seeing seeing how it's going to work and everything it reminds me of what wave forward eventually moved into with the mighty switch force uh, series and I believe that's that's kind of what led to that series a little bit I can't I can't now I can't verify that but I kind of feel like this game kind of like spawned that game somewhat which if you never played it the Mighty Switch Force games are very fun they're very annoying because they're basically they're a speed run type game basically where to get the best rewards and stuff like that you have to learn how to speed run it so you gotta learn how the puzzles work and just rush through it but this is Shantae. This is my new Switch for us. Get back to it. Um, there's some more information here in the PR release. As Shantae Adventure unfolds, she'll explore multiple towns and labyrinths, master six creature transformations, use a variety of magic attacks and items, battle fierce bosses, and meet friends like Roddy Top, Sky, and Bolo. Her only friends. You know, hopefully she gets some more friends because it's like, and she'll meet her friends, which is just always those three. You know, um, which they're they're great. I love those characters. I'm just saying it's kind of funny. Like she's gonna meet new friends. And it's like always those three causing trouble, especially Roddy Thompson. Roddy Thompson's always causing trouble. Some of whom will be encountering each other for the first time. In addition to the single player story mode, Shantae Advance Risky Revolution also includes a local four player battle mode for the first time in the series. Furthermore, players can choose to experience the game with enhanced HD character portraits. And HD element, HUD elements, I'm sorry, I said HD, HUD elements are played with the classic GBA pixel presentation fully intact in legacy mode. Falling fan favorite titles such as Shantae Half Genie Hero, Shantae and the Seven Sirens, Shantae Advanced Risk Evolution will be the sixth game released in the multi million selling Shantae series. In addition to the digital version, a physical edition of Shantae Advanced Risky's Revolution will be offered on select platforms from limited run games in 2024. And then it just goes and talking about more information. You can check out the website, wayfort.com. Um, let me go ahead and say this right now for anybody who's actually listened to the video this long. If you want to get a physical version, but you really want to play the game, you're going to have to double dip because limited run games, as much as I love them and their past releases, are probably some of the slowest producing physical version of games I've ever seen in my life. Like if you order a physical version of a game or any product from them, you may as well just sit back, relax, and expect to wait at least seven, at least it's, it's gonna be over six months usually. I, I, 
I can't think of a time I haven't gone over under six months, you know. So if you're going to order from them, just go ahead and expect you're going to be waiting six months out at, at the least. The most, you know, I've seen it go almost up to 11 months for some things, you know. So just know if you want to play day one or something like that, go ahead and expect a double dip saying, OK, I'm getting a physical version, but just go ahead and expect to get a digital version, too, because it's going to take a while to get it. Um, but it is interesting that, to see what creature she's going to transform into, what magical attacks. The battle mode is going to be crazy. I'm probably, you know, definitely going to try that out. I'm looking forward to running into some good Shantae players, you know. Um, we'll see. We'll see how good you guys are. You know, I've, you know, I've beaten every Shantae game to date so far. And I play them to the point where, you know, you speed run it and I'm done with it, you know. So I'm looking forward to seeing, like, you know, some of you players out there give me a good challenge to make me throw my controller across the room, you know. So if you guys do that, I will respect you more than anything. But there's no release date now besides 2024. Uh, players 1 to 4, price to be decided. Uh, platform is currently announced for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PS5, PC, via Steam. Um, surprised that there's no Xbox in here, sadly. Because uh, usually Shantae games are on Xbox, I like to, I remember. So it's kind of interesting they didn't put it on Xbox this time. Maybe they win the future, we'll see. But yeah, that's a very surprising. Poor Xbox. I love my, I love my Series X. You know, some people don't like the Xbox. You know, and they hurt. I mean, that's another that's another video for another day. They really hurt themselves with their Xbox One E3 presentation. But it's still a good system. Game Pass is probably the best service I've ever had when it comes to games. There's so many things on there that, I mean, seriously, the new Persona game. It's coming out Persona Five, the new little the little chibi style game. I downloaded it last night because it's on Game Pass. Like it's just great service, you know. Even though it's probably not going like some games won't stay on there for like a few months. So I gotta play Persona now because it's gonna be gone in a few months. But I don't see this game going over thirty dollars. Honestly, it says to be decided for price, but I don't see it going over thirty. It's a Shantae game, um, and that's not saying and that and that's nothing against Shantae. Shantae games are fun, but they're not. They're also not like full fledged, you know triple a games like they're not i don't expect them to do like what sega did with sega all superstars uh come out and release a 2d sonic game that six that, that was 60 dollars, you know and its sales have not been the best from what i've seen it, it's it's done well got good reviews and stuff from people but sales have not been great overall compared to frontier that i've seen but again i think what hurt it was its price point you know definitely should not have been 60 for like for superstars 40 at the at the most like shantae more than likely it's going to be 30 dollars. if it goes 40 i'll be surprised they're going to have to pump a lot into the game to justify 40 so i'm, I'm thinking 30 honestly but it looks great it's a prequel so that's 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 one thing so i'm kind of sad about that but i'm hoping they can kind of add some lore bits in there that will tie to future games past seven sirens because I'm, I'm a person, you know, if you follow me long enough or if you talk to me on Discord, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of, like, prequels. I, I just don't care for them. Because, for me, I like seeing where the story is going to head in the future. You know, I want to I keep going forward. You know, prequels, I feel like, unless it's like a book or something, I feel like they kind of slow things down because it's like, oh, kind of like, like, good example, Star Wars. Did we need a prequel? No. It did lead to some cool things like Ahsoka and you know some of the animated series like that but honestly they were they were fine movies when they first came out i don't care for those movies honestly my favorite star wars are like the original you know four five and six but it, it, it is good to go ahead and get that because i guess it's a little complicated i won't dawn on it too much because i'll sit here and ramble because they did set out at the beginning to kind of i guess have more movies because like I, I think episode I think when Star Wars, Star Wars first came out, it was episode four, I think. I can't remember. I gotta, I gotta get my Star Wars friends on that. But just know, I just don't care for prequels too much. But I'm thinking Wave 4 can add enough lore bits in here to kind of tie some things up in future Shantae games. Because I'm still waiting on Shantae 7. You know, wait. Five. Seven Sirens was five. I'm sorry. Uh, six, yeah. I'm looking forward to... Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do in the future with Shantae. Like, I'm still want to see. I still want to see her mom. 
Like, there's still a lot of, like, lore bits in Shantae that we haven't got yet that I'm curious about. Like, I really want to see Shantae's mom. I want to know what she's fighting. Uh, we know her dad. Maybe they'll tie that in there. But at the same time, I understand what Wave 4 is doing. You don't want to... You don't want to, like, strain your game too much. And by that, I mean you don't want to toss all your cards in the basket, like, so for the final game. They, like, they're trying to stretch it out as much as they can, you know, because, like, some companies, what they'll do, they'll, they'll toss all their, their cards in the one basket for the next game. It's like, oh, here's her mom. Here's the villain she was fighting. And then what comes after that, you know? So it's probably better they don't, like, tie too many things into one game because they're trying to stretch it out as much as they can, you know? It's kind of like what something Hedgehog does a little bit, you know? There's a lot of lore business on it, but they never put it in the one game. It's like, oh, like Frontier, especially Frontier. Frontier has been trying to finally get the story se story serious and on track. And it's like, oh, the Chaos Emeralds didn't come from the, they were from space, from another race of chaos based life forms. They came to Earth because the Master Emerald pulled them to Earth for some reason. And like, okay, that's, that's some good lore. Where's it gonna lead to? Gotta wait for the next game, hopefully. You know, stuff like that. They could have just came out and said, well, this is why they came to Earth and this is like what we're doing here now. But no, they're trying to like finally say, okay, we're trying to lead this into a grander story. You know, so, you know, be like One Piece. Be here for another 10 years or something like that. But anyway, that's pretty much it. You know, I don't wanna sit here and be like some people and just talk on and on and on about Shantae when this is all the information we have right now. If we get anything else, I'll pop back in and do another video. But I'm still trying to work on a a Shantae lore video series. It's been taking me a while to get the paperwork together and stuff after work, but I'm getting notes together. But I'm trying to make like a, a grand, probably it's probably gonna be like a multi-video series on the Shantae lore. You know, it may be a video per character, maybe. You know, or maybe I just maybe no, because there's not enough information to do that. I may do like the main characters video, uh, the premise of the main games, and just sh basically Shantae lore bits that I can get across, you know. Um, but yeah, I think I said multi video series, more I think on it, you know, probably be about like a four to five video series, you know, do the land, the villains, bosses we fought in the past, other genies and stuff like that. You can probably get five videos out of that, you know, so I'll try that, but yeah. But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks you guys for sticking around, the ones who are usually here. Thanks for the friends on Discord who constantly talk to me and you know update me on their pets and stuff like that. It's always fun to talk to you guys on Discord and Twitter. But yeah, for now, that's it. You guys be good, safe out there. And like I said, if Wait For It announces anything else, I'll pop back, pop back in. But for now, I gotta get in here and do some work stuff. I gotta cook, and I'll talk to you guys later.